You return escaping Khajiit to that beast, Gothrin. And now I hear about our egg kin crushed in the Zalkin Sul mine. I thought I understood you, but I do not. Iyoki, wait! I'm trying to be strong enough for the both of us. Iyoki berated me because the Zalkin Sul cave and killed some miners. You stole the prison to save us from Magister Gothrin. I suffered humiliation in a cage while you did what was necessary. Is that so wrong? No, of course not. I care deeply for Ioki. I want to help him, but I can't save everyone. I serve House Telvani. I am Telvani. He must understand that the House traditions may bend, but they will not break. I've never seen him so angry. I certainly hope not, but if he's lost faith in our plan, anything's possible. Ioki won't listen to me, but he might still heed your counsel. Would you talk to him? The Magisters will only tolerate so much defiance if he makes another attempt. I knew she would send you. Know that I do not blame you for your role in all this. We are, both of us, victims of Telvani lies. This place deadens the soul, pure and impure alike. Now, let me guess. My heart sent you to counsel patience, yes? No Saxleal reaches for a branch beyond their grasp, but all the waiting, all the compromises, my patience rushes down river. My companions and I must get a message to the ropefish. Will you help? The ropefish are people smugglers, led by an orc named Kartog. I had hoped to work with him directly. Unfortunately, we must deal with one of his lieutenants, Bothamul. You must deliver the message before our distraction can begin. We can discuss the distraction soon. First, we cast the lure and hook the fish. Go to the inn and look for an orc named Atarga. Approach her, say, Vasamsi mine, and give her this payment. Deal only with Atarga. Hist protect you. Ask what you wish, but speak quickly. I feel the Slave Master's eyes on me. It is a forgetting place where the noblest slaves labor until they die. That beast, Gothrin, hires thugs and murderers to guard it. They whip and kick and curse without restraint, without mercy. We aim to free those slaves. If I were, we would not have met. No one ever leaves Vasamsi. Even so, some of my friends are imprisoned there. I thought if Sun and Shadow freed me quickly, I could snatch them up on the way out of Vardenfell. Now I see that she does not care. There was a time when that made a difference, but now it does not. My spines wilt at the idea of leaving her, but she does not understand me. Slave-born Lukiel cannot hear the hist. She does not know me. She does not even know herself. They have a good reputation for getting the job done, as long as you have the gold to pay. Bothamul asks a high price, but we have few choices. We pooled our resources. Many small fish can feed a whale, yes? The Telvani see us as beasts, almost too stupid to push a broom. We use that to our advantage. I never thought I would be a thief, but given the circumstance, I feel no remorse. The primary contact between the slaves of Sadrith Mora and the Ropefish. She drinks like an eel, but we trust her. That is more than I can say for some of the other smugglers around here. This stuff is good! So dumb! Uh, maybe Sujama. you've had enough Sujama. How much has she had? Sujama kicks like a bow-legged Echater! Let her sleep it off. Come on, Atarga. Aim for the stairs. So many stairs? Wait. I was supposed to do something. 
I don't like drinking with strangers. Tusk off. A targa's drunk as sanguine on Sundas. Won't get nothing but puke and bad jokes out of her. She told me why she was here. Dragging a few slaves cross the border, eh? You give me the payment and I'll let the boss know. Savvy? Fine. Lug that gold to both Amul yourself. No skin off my tusks. Camp's near Gothrin's place. Tell Arun. I'll even mark your map, seeing as we're fit to be partners soon. Keep your gob shut about a targa getting sauced, eh? One headache's enough. My friend, over here. Well, this is a coincidence. I came for a bottle of dry white. What brought you here? Have you spoken to Yoki yet? No! Yes, forgive me. I just couldn't keep pacing around the house, gnawing my claws. Is Yoki all right? What did he say? He's not planning to do something foolish, is he? I see. Well, that's that, I guess. Once he cools down, I'll plead my case again. I can't fight the house traditions all at once, but perhaps with time and effort, I just need more time. He must understand that. I won't keep you. Should have given me that gold at the inn, runt. Circle around! Yeah, you need something? If not, you might want to clear off. We're doing a little business here, and it ain't exactly legal. Indisposed? Fancy talk for drunk is a boiled owl, right? Moloch's jawbone. She loves her drink, but she always stays sober on the job. Something stinks here. Maybe we should call this off. Logdabosh? I bet my left tusk on it. I hope you gave her and that witless pig Hasbor a good kick in the teeth. Ah, we're better off without them. So let's get on with this. You with Yoki and his friends? Good. I should ask for a lot more than this. Vasamsi makes the inside of Awamasu look homey by comparison. But a deal's a deal, eh? Tell Yoki we'll be there as agreed. The mine's east of here. Just steer clear of Gothrin's thugs, all right? There you are. I knew you would not abandon us. Your presence warms my scales, egg friend. Our companions in the mine know we are coming. We equipped ourselves as best we could. Now we strike. First, we must deal with the guards, especially the ones who linger near the entrance. If they raise the alarm, the slave master will descend on us like a hungry hackwing. Renisi thinks we should knock them out. Osri suggests we show no mercy. Renisi acquired a crate of powder bombs. Toss one near a guard and they should fall unconscious. Killing less guards might lessen the Magister's fury, making it easier to escape. But who knows? Free our friends and watch out for the guard, Captain. Osri spent many long weeks in the dry box beneath Tel Arun. Some of his closest friends died here in Vasamsi. His spines bristle with thoughts of revenge. I do not blame him. Slay the guards, free our people, and watch out for the guard, Captain. Good. I will follow you and help steer slaves toward the exit. If all goes as planned, we will all leave together. One last thing. We must be careful to avoid drawing the eye of Slave Master Arenim. 
You will never face a more ruthless mage. Yoki, the way we left things was... Please don't go. I must. You and I share a heart, but our souls chur different songs. This cannot last. But before you go, you must see how your Telvanni treat our kin. Please, come into the mine and see how they live, how they die. Fine. I will do this for you, but then I must go. Yoki, be careful. We'll keep an eye out for any movement from Tel Aron. with caution, egg friend. The guard captain lurks nearby. I can feel it. Ioki, what are you doing? Are those bodies? Intruders! I have fixed your the slave master. masters treat their slaves. Ioki, this is madness. You get me killed. She's crazier than a cat off. The slaves are revolting! To arms! Cut them down! Rally, my friends. Make your escape. I want to leave now! Do not be afraid. I will make sure you reach the boat safely. Boat? I'm not getting on any boat! Hart, you are coming with us. In time you will thank me. How dare you! Help! I'm being kidnapped! I'm trying to save you. The leaders of this pathetic revolt. You Wait, you fool! Dearly. I'm a Telvanni mage! They were kidnapping me! I can't believe what just happened. That filthy elf was going to kill me, a Telvanni mage. And Ioki sought to drag me off like a prisoner. How could he do such a thing? Has he lost his mind? Uh, I will, of course I will. I just need a moment to think. I could let him go, perhaps I should. But why? He brings me joy and comfort, doesn't he? When he's not kidnapping me, that is. Why would I give that up if I didn't have to? Maybe, but if I let him go, I'll never see him again. The one person who truly cares about me, gone. No more silly hissed poems, no more wildflower bouquets, nothing. He'll forgive me. It will just take time, right? Please, help me decide. Yes, you're right. I can't let him go. Sun and Shadow, I'll tell the what are you doing? Injured. That will please him, at least. What has she done? She... 
She tightened the slave master's bindings. What? She would keep me in chains to earn my affection? She was right all along. She has a dark elf's heart, just as cruel and possessive as House Telvanni. Yes, but that was different. I only wanted what was best for her, for both of us. Hist's tears. You are right. This place. Do you see how it twists us? How it dries out our hearts and turns all to selfishness? Forgive me, friend. Forgive me. A Renan wounded Ioki. I stabilized him, but he can't travel. He said you should leave without him. Damn. We'll wait at the coast for as long as we can. Wish him good luck. And thank you. I will tell him. Now go! I hope Ioki's friends make it to the ghost. If the house captures them, the punishment will be severe. Now, to settle this business with Ioki. Yes, Ioki may curse me, but he'll see the wisdom in this eventually. I'll sweep his role in the escape under the rug, keep him safe from reprisals. One day, he'll thank me. I appreciate your help in all of this, Sarah. You're a true friend. Now, to get my lies straight, with the guards and slave master Arenum slain, I'm sure I can come out ahead. About keeping Yogi here? No. I struggle with the idea of him hating me for this, but in the end, I'm sure he'll see it was for the best. He'll have the very best of things, and my love to fortify him. Yes, once the time is right. Once he understands what he'd been given up if he ran again, he belongs here. He'll see that eventually. With his support, I'll bend this house to our desires. There's no telling what we can achieve together. Ah, it's nice to see you, my friend. I confess I get a bit lonesome. I made arrangements for my Yoki to be in a better situation, well treated. I know he is deeply angry with me, but I have hopes of making him happy again soon. Busy, working hard to circumvent Magister Gothrin's desire to keep me from gaining further rank within House Telvanni. I've learned my lesson, though. I am being very careful about any dealings with him. Indeed, my, or rather our, adventures have taught me to be a bit more circumspect in my ambitions. A little patience goes a long way. At least that is what Mouth Angoral has counseled. No. I did get Master Furith to purchase him. A favor I will have to repay manyfold. Furith rather likes him. He's always been curious about Argonian culture and magic. I am hopeful that in time, Yuki will let go of his anger at me. I think his spirits are still cast down. I know mine are. I wish he would talk to me, but he won't. And I can't keep making up excuses to visit Master Furith, just to try and snatch a moment to speak with the Oki. It would raise suspicions. <laughs> 